Copernicus is the European Union's Earth observation program, providing vast amounts of global data from satellite, airborne, seaborne, and ground-based measurement systems. The Copernicus Land Monitoring Service is one of the core activities of the program and is implemented by the European Environment Agency and the Joint Research Centre. It is used in a variety of domains such as spatial planning, forest management, water management, agriculture and food security amongst many others. It is used by EU bodies, national governments, local environment agencies, by academia and by businesses. The amount of soil sealing, either by roads or other building or construction, is monitored by imperviousness maps, which is one of the high-resolution layers products produced by the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service. Built-up areas change the nature of the environment in ways that have important effects on flora and fauna, as well as for human life. The Environment Agency Austria uses these imperviousness products in a number of ways. The Environment Agency Austria deals with land monitoring for more than 30 years. Our interest especially is the distribution of built-up areas. We have reached a critical growth trend in soil sealing. More than 12 hectares a day are used for new road settlement construction. And these sealed and built-up areas leave only few places left in the landscape. The landscape is cut into more and more smaller and smaller pieces and this endangers the migration and dispersal possibilities for animals. The migration of species can only happen in so-called ecological corridors. And these ecological corridors are interrupted by artificial barriers, mostly built-up areas, new roads. These corridors are cut more and more into smaller pieces. We are speaking of fragmented landscapes. We have to assess this fragmentation, but we did not have the correct data and the appropriate data for it. When we started our work, it was based on aggregated statistical data and community level. But nowadays, uh, we require more and more detailed data. With the help of Copernicus, we have up-to-date, recent, spatially explicit and high-quality data. This enables us to analyze the distribution of built-up areas and artificial barriers throughout these migration corridors. Copernicus helped us quite a lot to understand better our environment and to explain certain processes in the landscape. But in the near future, our hope is that we will be able to understand the health of ecosystems, the health of habitats. We are talking of ecosystem condition to be derived from these multi-temporal layer stacks.